What if I told you there was one three-letter word in English that has 645 different meanings? Yes, you heard that right. 645 different meanings. I tell my clients all the time when they're trying to learn English that they need to understand that most words have more than one meaning. But when one word has 645 different meanings, all I can say is English is impossible. In today's video, I'm going to explore 20 powerful ways you can use this one word in a business context, from managing your team to solving problems and even increasing your productivity. This word can do it all. And the best part, it's a word you probably use every day without realizing its full potential. By the end of this video, you'll see how mastering this simple word can increase your business English vocabulary and make you sound like a natural expert. So stick around because this is going to be both fun and incredibly useful. Let's jump right in and discover the mystery of this amazing three-letter word. But first, did you know that two out of every three words in English have more than one meaning? English is difficult enough to try to learn. But when 66% of English words have another meaning, all I can say is English is impossible. Let's take a look at the top 10 words with the most amount of meanings in English. Let's start at number 10 and we'll work our way up to number one. This word has the 10th most <laughs> definitions for one word. The word is fall and fall has 250 different definitions. Can you imagine? 250 different definitions but we've got nine more to go. Let's look at number nine. Number nine, this word has 264 different definitions. The word is strike. Let's go to number eight. The word is put. If you can imagine, the word put has 268 different definitions. English is impossible. If we go up to number seven, this word has 288 different definitions. And the word is turn. You know the word turn. Can you imagine? Turn has 288 different definitions. English is impossible. The number six word. The word has 289 definitions. You use it all the time. The word is get. Can you imagine? The word get has 289 different definitions. English is impossible. The number five word on this list. The word is stand. And if you can imagine, stand has 334 different definitions. 334 definitions for the word stand. How can you learn English? English is impossible. The number four word on this list. This word has 343 definitions. The word is take. Yes, the common word of take has 343 definitions. Can you imagine? Okay, let's go to number three. Here's a word everybody knows. This word has 368 different definitions in English. The word is go. This is a word you could use every day. You probably do use every day. The word go has 368 different definitions. 
English is impossible. Let's look at number two. <laughs> the word is set. Set has 430 different definitions in English. I can't imagine. 430 different definitions by using the word set in English. Learning English is impossible. The number one word has 645 different definitions. Yes, 645 different definitions. Before I give you that word, let's take a look at this top 10 list. Think about this for a minute. These are 10 words that seem very simple, and they have a total of 3,479 different meanings. English is impossible. Have you guessed what the number one word is? Well, according to the Oxford Dictionary, the word with the most meanings in English is run. Yes, the word run. That simple little word. The dog likes to run. Who would think this has so many meanings? I invite you to join me as I look at 20 different ways you can use the word run in a business context. Run a business. It means to manage or be in charge of a business. An example could be, she runs a small bakery in the city. Managing a business often means facing difficult challenges. For example, you might run into problems with your new software. Run into something. It means to encounter problems or difficulties. An example sentence could be, we ran into some issues with the new software. And when problems happen, it's crucial to stay prepared. You don't want to run out of important supplies like paper for the printer. To run out of something. It means to use all of something so there is none left. An example sentence could be, we ran out of paper for the printer. Running out of supplies can slow down your progress, which is why it's important to discuss your ideas with your team. Always run your ideas by your boss first. Run an idea by someone. It means to tell someone your idea, to get their opinion. An example sentence could be, I need to run this idea by my boss before we start. Once you have approval, it's time to bring everyone together. You can run a meeting to share and improve the idea. Run a meeting. It means to organize and lead a meeting. An example sentence could be, you will run the meeting this afternoon. Meetings are more productive with solid data. Running a report on recent sales can provide valuable insights. Run a report. This means to create or prepare a report. Can you run a sales report for last month? Analyzing these reports helps us understand our finances. Let's run the numbers to see if our projects are profitable. Run the numbers. It means to perform calculations, usually financial. An example sentence could be, let's run the numbers to see if this project is profitable. If the numbers look good, it's time to promote our business. Running a marketing campaign can attract more customers. Run a campaign. It means to organize and manage a marketing effort. An example sentence could be, we plan to run a marketing campaign next month. While promoting, we need to ensure we have enough resources. We can't afford to run low on promotional materials. Run low. This means to have very little of something left. An example sentence could be, we're running low on office supplies. Keeping enough of everything in the office helps operations run smoothly. A smooth workflow is essential for success. Run smoothly. 
This means to operate without problems. An example sentence could be, the new system is running smoothly. However, even the best systems have delays. Sometimes projects can run behind schedule. Run behind. This means to be late or delayed. An example sentence could be, the project is running behind schedule. Delays can impact our bottom line. We need to be cautious and not run at a loss. Run at a loss. This means to operate and lose money rather than make a profit. An example sentence could be, the company has been running at a loss for two years. To avoid losses, sometimes we must take risks. Investing in new technology might run a risk, but it could be worth it. Run a risk. To be in a situation where something bad could happen, we run a risk by investing in this new technology could be an example sentence. It's important to understand the new technology. For example, knowing it runs on electricity can help us plan better. Run on something. This means to use a particular type of power. An example sentence could be, the machines run on electricity. Efficient machines help us run the show more effectively. Strong leadership is key. Run the show. This means to be in control or in charge of an operation. An example could be, she really knows how to run the show around here. Even great leaders need to rest and get their energy back. Otherwise, they might run out of steam. Run out of steam. It means to lose energy or enthusiasm. An example could be, we were excited at first, but now we're running out of steam. Staying energized helps us outperform. Our new software, for instance, runs circles around the competition. To run circles around someone or something This means to be much better or more successful than someone else or something else. An example sentence could be, our new software runs circles around the competition. To maintain this edge, we need to stay organized. Running a tight ship ensures everything is in order. Run a tight ship. This means to manage something efficiently and in a very organized manner. An example sentence could be, he runs a tight ship and everything is always in order. Efficiency helps complete tasks quickly. Running errands, for example, becomes much easier. Run errands. (laughs) To do small jobs outside the office is what this means. An example could be, she had to run some errands for the boss. While errands are routine, our product should stand out. We should avoid creating run-of-the-mill items. Run-of-the-mill. This means something that is ordinary, not special. An example sentence could be, the new product is just run-of-the-mill, nothing unique. To thrive, we need to innovate. Let's run a business. It's truly exceptional. Wow. (laughs) English is impossible. (laughs) There's 20 different ways of using run, so I've given you these 20 uses, and now we've only got 625 more to go, so get comfortable. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) But I'd really like for you to type in the comments other ways that We can use the word run. Maybe you've run into a few different uses before. Ready? Go. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.